if I were to choose not to do anything more, what would my chances be? And at that time is when he said, I'd give you a few months. That was the stark reality. It's really, not only is it true, um, but somebody, someone beyond my control is gonna take away the life that I'd come to get pretty used to. Well, as soon as all the chemotherapy didn't seem to really do anything, I needed to really, or wanted to anyway, sit down with my children, really discuss what the future would hold. The thing I didn't realize, but they very quickly made it poignant to me, this is your life, Mom. This is your illness that you're going through. Um, we've already told you we are here. We support your decision. It's your body. It, it, you, you decide. Realization for a lot of my friends at that particular point was some who were kind enough to be honest enough, you're giving up. And we sat down and had a little cup of tea and a conversation to the point of, no, I really don't have a whole heck of a lot to, to do with it. It's, it's just what it is, and I am prepared to deal with it, enjoy as much as I can uh, the life and my family and and then, of course, I prayed a lot. I, I did have a good <laughs> communication with the gentleman upstairs and um, came to the realization, his will be done. I think I'm pretty much every morning get up with a smile on my face just because I know I have another day to enjoy whatever it brings, whether it be go out on the terrace and just look at that part of the city and watch all those people going to work, earning a living, taking care of their families, dealing with hard times maybe in their lives, and um, then coming back, into, I call this my little castle. Um, I had to get used to living by myself, and it's so funny how you can get pretty darn greedy when it comes to your own life. I don't want to die just yet. Um, got used to the fact of my poor husband being gone and all my babies grown and gone and grandbabies coming into this world. I wanted to be able to see if I couldn't be a part of that. At the end of the day, sitting here and looking out that window at the sunset and the beauty and majesty that my Heavenly Father can create, I, it just fills me, I, I, I don't feel sick. I, I, I don't feel sick. Oh, I won't kid you, there are times when I feel so sick that I just, it's all I can do to crawl from the bedroom to the bathroom, but I made it and I get up and walk back and fall back to sleep uh, knowing that I'll get to see another tomorrow. And if I don't, I'm, Try to make really sure that I enjoy today, that I enjoy the here and now.